The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Good morning, everyone. Here's a live look out at the Roanoke Blacksburg Regional Airport sky cam showing what looks to be mostly cloudy skies at the upper levels. So continuing to see the impacts of Francine build into the region and we'll continue to see that all day long as temperatures are a little bit more mild out there this morning as well. The airport's at 55. Downtown Roanoke is at 54. Blacksburg is at 55. Stewart 56. Whitville 51. Pulaski continuing to be the cool spot on the map all week long at 47 degrees. Lynchburg's at 52. Lexington 52. And Danville currently at 55. There is that cloud cover. We're dealing with the outflow from tropical storm Francine as she continues to build off to, towards the north just off the map there way out to the west. Also dealing with some patchy fog around uh, the DMV area into parts of Maryland, even into parts of New York this morning. As you head out the door, you will start to notice some of those clouds uh, at the upper levels. Still going to see plenty of uh, sunshine sporadically throughout the day. These clouds will come and go, but again, they're going to be at the mid and upper levels. They're not going to be these low level cumulus clouds that we usually associate with rain clouds. OK, it's just going to be cloud cover all day long. And because of that, afternoon high temperatures are only going to get up to about 73 degrees across the New River Valley. The highlands will get to 81. That'll be the warm spot as they won't see as many clouds early on as the rest of us. Roanoke, Lynchburg, and Southside get right up to about 79 to 80 degrees. We're also tracking an increase in humidity throughout the rest of the week. These green colors just to our south and to our west are going to continue to pump into the area uh, thanks to uh, the remnants of uh, Francine as we head into the weekend. Also, there is a little bit of an area uh, that could develop right around here as we head into the weekend. So high pressure going to continue to funnel in this moisture off the Atlantic from the east and then Francine going to continue to pump moisture in from the south. So that's what we're going to be dealing with over the next couple of days. And speaking of Francine, here is the latest advisory. Since the last time we talked, nothing has changed other than the path and the track. It's now expected to die out once we get to tomorrow afternoon and then just transition into an area of low pressure and then it will then lose its name. The next track will come out at 10 a.m., but pressure is up as of now and winds are continuing to decline, which is good news. However, we're still going to be dealing with widespread rain. Notice how large this swath of rain is building all the way from St. Louis to the Outer Banks. We're also going to see the potential for rain chances as we head into our Friday morning and then eventually into our Saturday morning. We'll continue to see some of those rain chances, but here is that area of low pressure off the coast of the Carolinas and Florida. That will likely uh, develop into something. The National Hurricane Center gives it 30% chance of doing so within the next seven days regardless. However we look at it, it's going to be bringing us scattered showers as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. As we look at south side, we've got a 40% chance of those showers. And then once we head over to the highlands, temperatures after today going to stay in the 70s for the next seven days.